Welcome, I'm Bill Wake. We're here working on a new project. It's called Collide, and we're going to try and build a kaleidoscope for iPhone, basically, for iOS. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I guess I've got some pictures. Okay. Uh, so one starting place is this notion that you, um, you, you, a kaleidoscope inside has got these mirrors, and one way to arrange them is a triangle, like shown in red there. And then what happens is it basically reflects. So, so take that triangle and then flip its point down and you'll see the reflection there and then flip it to the right and you'll see the reflection there. And then that flips and that flips and that flips and that flips. And then it just kind of keeps going. Um, now I, I want to start simpler, so we'll see what happens. But I think what I can do is like focus on that, that hexagon in the middle um, where the red, the red triangle is pointing to the center of the hexagon. And I'm imagining that's the view we'll get. We'll probably put a circle around it or, you know, do something like that to make it, to make it look like that. Um, I think, I don't think I need all these repeats to do this. It may be, maybe in the long run I do, or, or we'll want something more, but I think if I just do, um, I don't know, my wife makes a, um, a quilt, they call it whack and stack and basically you take fabric you layer the same thing over top it at the repeat of the fabric and then you and then you cut through all the layers and that gives you a bunch of identical pieces and then you can arrange them into little kaleidoscope shapes um there's no multiple reflection there's there's repetition around actually it doesn't do reflection so it's just sort of the same triangle six times around um or eight or whatever they're doing. But um, I think it gives a pretty decent looking kaleidoscope. So we'll start there and then see how deep into the math we want to go. I also don't really know what what and how much we're going to TDD on this either. Okay, we'll see what happens. I got a bunch of links from just researching things. So a couple on uh, working with a kaleidoscope, um, um, one on fisheye cameras, one on building hemispheres, so it kind of looks like it's on the middle of a dome. And then finally, um, CM Motion Manager gives you a way to detect the rotation of your phone. Now you can also, um, in photo apps, you can often kind of twist, twist two fingers to, to rotate. And I think we'll try and support that first. It's, um, it's less physical, but it's better supported in the simulator. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. So, um, as usual, I've just created a starting project. Um, everything's, it's still hello world. And um, let's see, what else do we, oh, and I put a, an icon in. We'll probably make a better icon at some point. I just wanted something to say like, hey, there's nested repetition. <laughs> Okay, and so the the sort of plan of attack I have is we're going to do this kaleidoscope. We're going to start with a fixed image. Actually, I realized this morning I could start even simpler just with a uh, color. Okay, so if I took a color and then, well, repeated it all those times, that would be something. If I flipped it, reversed it in some sense, maybe invert the color or something, I'd have a sort of two-tone repetition. Um, then move to a fixed image. So just take one picture and figure out a way to slice out a piece and, and do with that. And then worry about the notion of moving and rotating and scaling. Um, now, I don't know, ro rotate maybe is more, I mean, normally with a kaleidoscope, you've got a little outer rim and you can roll that, or sometimes they're just one piece and you just physically roll the whole thing. Um, but that's a very common thing to do. Move is a little more, yeah, letting us kind of play with the picture we have. But I think if we, um, I think rotate is more important. Um, and then maybe rotate phone at some point. Um, once we've got the basics done, I want to let you select a photo. And then I guess I also wanted to do live camera. So you would just do this and it would, you move your phone around the room and, and the room kind of goes into some Picasso shape, you know, kaleidoscope shape. And then finally, um, I did a little bit of reading on 3D, um, the 3D scene kit or whatever they call it. It's not, it's, I don't know. 
what it's called, but it, there's a 3D kit that's like Scene Kit. Maybe it's Scene Kit 3D, whatever. Um, but you can put little shapes in, and you can you can give them physics. So maybe I give them a lot of friction or a very light gravity or something like that. And um, I'm imagining a few ways to to throw little objects in, like lots of real kaleidoscopes do. You know, they have little little beads and gems and little sticks and whatnot. I'm imagining just creating a bunch of those, putting them in this physics, and if you rotate, then you know it's going to be like a real rotating, um, maybe like one of those oil oil suspensions where they put glitter inside and you rotate it. it looks kind of interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyway, I'm I'm thinking I might do do that. Depending, it just depends how this goes and if 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 it seems fun and it's working out. Now the design of it, I I don't know what to do. Um, one idea that occurred to me was, well, if if you had something that was a slice of a photograph, like a triangular slice, okay, or maybe a an arc kind of slice. Um, and then represent that and then have something else that's more like the repetition that knows, hey, this is a 45 degree slice and so we'll need to reflect it and then it can draw the pieces reflected and, and so on. Um, that that would give me sort of a f um, an object model that represents the, the repetition. Now, on the other hand, I kind of think it. I, I don't. I don't know if I. I don't know if I really need that object, but that would give me something to test. I could look at it and say, "Hey, you know, if if I did forty five degree angles, I expect to see eight pieces. The first one starts at zero. The second one starts at forty five. The next one at ninety. The next one at one thirty five, and so on around. Um, it would give me something I could test, and then the drawing part is, you know, given a an image and and in a rotation amount it sticks that at the center and and draws it um on the other hand yeah so i don't know if i need those objects or not um yeah we'll we'll see so it's it's kind of a weird one to start right um and as usual i don't remember any of the words that do things i know i've drawn little pie pieces before so let's let's go find that maybe we can uh maybe we can do something with that oh no i don't know let's let's try and run the real app i have something something weird i don't really want ui tests let's turn those off if they're on oh i know what it is Okay, um, I guess this is kind of an in-memory structure, right? Yeah, okay, I can turn this off. In-memory document doesn't change. Would you like to save it? Yes. Okay. And then let's move this in. Okay. Um, let's run the tests once. It's just empty, empty nothing tests. Whatever you get out of the box by default. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's happening over here, yeah. Well, there shouldn't be any collide UI tests. Oops. Okay. All right, so I guess that's okay. So, um, wow. 
Why are you not committed? Okay, we'll come back to you. Okay, um, collide. So, what would be progress? Okay, I guess drawing one triangle or arc piece of pie on the screen would be progress. Um, okay. Uh, hopefully somebody searches like that. Pie chart slices. I don't want to do a pie chart. It's, it's like the circle. But there's a, maybe it's arc. Okay. <clears throat> Hmm. Is a path? Head arc. Oh man, maybe we gotta do that. Hmm. Head arc center. Start angle end angle. And as I recall it 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 works weird. Um I don't know what the angle is me measured in. Measured from positive x-axis. Okay. An end point measured from positive. Okay, that sounds, that sounds okay. And then clockwise falls. All right. Well, let's see. Um, And arc, and then there's a there's a fill or close. Hmm. Okay. Um. Well. Let's see. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's, um, that seems like something scene kit ought to do, right? It's sort of a T, 2D, 2D thing. I, I'm hoping I can define a shape and then intersect it with, um, with, the the image I want to work with. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, yeah, let's make a shape. Uh, I'm still, I'm kind of playing at this point. Um, let's call it pi. It's a shape. And then we have to give it this path. Uh, path function. Well, that might actually. Oh, okay. And then you can do dot fill. Interesting. Or stroke. Okay, we don't need to stroke. We'll just do fill. All right, and then did he show how to use that? Yeah, okay. Um, pi, and then um, let's do that. Is that gonna?
you know, it's well, that's thinking. Let's do research. Um, Reality kid, I don't want to mess with that. Is this really swift? Okay, oh, there we go. That's something. All right. Okay, so this thing. Well, all right. Um, what I want to do okay min x min y that's up here okay I mean I really want it to be hmm Okay, um, what would make sense for this thing? He, he's got a box to draw in. Um, well, I guess I got to give him an angle, right? That's, that's something he needs to know. Um, um, it's going to be, it's like a starting angle. Um, and, um, an ending angle. Okay. And then... Do okay. Um, that should be fine because we're not using it. All right, so I'm gonna start. Gosh, is that what I want? Uh, okay. All right, let's, let's start drawing. So path up, move to, um, X is rect dot min X. So bottom left. And Y is rect dot max Y bottom. Um, move to, okay, and then I want to draw Hmm. Well, I don't, I want to draw. Let's see an arc. Well, arc is the round thing. Um. Yeah, I want to move to. Uh. A degrees. <laughs>
Well, maybe I just draw this thing. Okay, let's just move to the other side. Move to CG point x colon rect dot max x rect dot max y. Okay, and then I'm going to do it. Why am I? Oh, why go on? <clears throat> um, so I'm going to move from here to here and then arc up there. Um, Okay, the center is going to be start. And oh no, I want this one. Center radius, I guess, is. Rect dot width um, degrees zero and end angle is degrees can i subtract angles let's say ending angle one more parameter clockwise false Um, hmm. that strikes me as odd. You think it would guess angle? All right. And then I think I can just say, oh, oh that doesn't need to be. Okay. And that thing I could just say path dot close sub path. Path has no member arc. Oh, and arc. Okay, well, <laughs> um, that's interesting. Oh, let me let me just do a path dot move to start. Think it should matter, but no. Okay. Um, move to start. It sure doesn't look like it's done that. Okay, something's weird. 
What did I say down here? Degree 60. Okay. Center is start. Um, let's, let's make this false again. I wish I could see off the end of it. Hmm. Okay. X rect min X, Y max Y. I believe that's down here. Move to max X, max Y. I thought that would be over here. Okay, let's, uh, what else do we have? Add line. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make these add lines just so we can, that actually seems important. <laughs> I think these, I think this thing spins backwards is the deal. I don't know if I can subtract it. Yeah, some, okay. There's, this thing is goofy. I mean, what I would expect <laughs> is, I'm doing it to my perspective, but if I say, here's the X axis and you spin counterclockwise, according to some angle, then I'd start at zero and end at 60. Let's, let's flip this. <clears throat> okay. Ending angle. If I do minus. See, what's interesting is it looks like I've got everything but what I want. Okay, this is goofy. And this is what I remember is that arc is goofy. Um, now, I think I can... Counterclockwise, yeah, so why clockwise would work? I think they've, I don't know, it, it's, <laughs> I know I've used this before. I know I, I thought it was crazy, like, why don't you, you know, here's your x-axis. Well, I guess no, they must think of it, oh, maybe this is why I'm screwed up. They think of the x-axis as being here, and the y-axis as going down this way which is a screwy coordinate system. And we want this other coordinate system. Okay, but anyway, um, can I rotate a path? I can rotate a shape, right? I don't know if I have to take the anchor off, if that helps anything. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I can't imagine. I mean, I'm... I just cannot imagine why Swift would pick that coordinate system. It just seems like every programmer that comes along like us afterwards is going to be struggling to, to figure out how to make this thing fit. Now, what else can I do? I can, can I flip it 
it's um it's not flip may i scale by uh y minus one or something hmm maybe i should be doing something with that oh. scale effect well that's not it Minus. Okay, if the coordinate system is y is zero, oh, sorry, x zero, x max, y zero, y max. Okay. Um, Maybe, oh, maybe my first lesson has to be how to get this thing into its, into a mathematically normal coordinate system. So 15 years of training in this will give me some benefit. Um, let's see. If I take that off, it looks like I want, that's what I want. Well, actually, I want this thing to be half as wide. Um... Hmm. Okay, well, I don't... Like, where am I rotating from? I must be rotating from up there. Um, dot... Scale... Uh, y colon minus one. Okay, I'm. Eh. It's not going to do it. Let's take the minus off. Maybe. Okay. Um. All right. We're gonna learn about coordinate systems, because <laughs> um. There's no way I'm gonna work like this. named and then what what do you get I don't know if that's what I want. <clears throat> I 
Okay. Move the origin up by the view's height. Well, I don't... I thought translate was a valid. Well, if it's if it's x, y, and I I flip it, it seems like that should just do it. I don't know why I have to translate. I don't know where I translate. Um, I guess not in the path. Now there there is a way to apply a transform. Oh, golly. I gotta remember this stuff. Well, offset by. I feel like I could put it here. And take this one off. Well, it's not happy, is it? Path. Can I do this afterwards? Path gives me a path. Well, it seems like I should be able to do it up here. He's a scaled path, scaled shape. Really? Scaling turns it into a shape. Ugh. Okay, let's... Yeah. <laughs> Fine adjustments, yeah, that's not quite what I'm after.
Well, that's not going to help. Yeah, that's a simple thing. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Um All right, so let me get back to where we were. That red is a little bit annoying. <laughs> Just on the eyes. <laughs> um okay. Now, if I drew my thing from there and flipped, like maybe I got to figure it out from from the top zero zero. Okay, let's let's see if we can do that. So, move to well, this is going to be max. Let me. It. Okay, and I think close up path is actually the right way to go. Okay, so let's start at min y. Okay. Add a line to max x min y clockwise false. Okay. Um, is that what I want? Start here, move here, add the arc, close the path. Okay. That, that is doing this y minus one is above the screen x minus one is left of the screen okay now okay and let's rotate this 60 degrees. And that seems weird. Like, why isn't it rotating around the zero, zero point? Where is it rotating around? I don't even know. Okay, and let's do the scaling here. What about this one? Okay. I mean, I think we're back to normal. And then I'd also like to try x colon 0 0.5. Okay, I must be doing the wrong thing there. So, <sighs> okay, and if I rotate this minus Thirty degrees left. Okay. What is going on? 
so it's treating this top point as the as the as the center. Huh. Why would that be? Maybe I should read on rotation effect. Rotate, oh, anchor center. Okay, okay, I guess. Anchor dot. I think bottom leading. Okay. That seems like it's kind of what I want. Last position can okay, set the origin before rotating. Yeah, so I think I think that gives us this rotation around here. I mean honestly I want this half the size and I want to be able to put the pieces in to make a Now, how do I... Okay, this can go. All right, I'd like to get this stuff onto um, the path. Path has to return a path. Is this still in path? Yeah, let's go look at path. Oh no, here's here's one I want. <laughs> Field regions common to both paths. Okay. But I don't see anything that's gonna well there was applying. Where'd that go? No, it's just gonna pay off. Applying. Oh, now this. Okay. Applying. Well, I'm gonna have to look up this guy again. I know I can, I know I can do transformations and rotations with the matrix. So, um, a x plus c y b x plus d y. This call function is translate by scale by. Okay, let's let's rotate. By. Okay. Scale by. Is there a scale by on path? No. Oh, now these are three by three. Okay. Oh, it's 2D coordinates. Okay, good. Um, now. Oh, I kind of knit it. Okay. 
Um, all right. So I think I can do applying. Scaled by. Okay. So I'm trying to get this. Um, I'm trying to do this stuff. The fill can stay, but the scale effect I want to. Um, uh, I want that to be part of the path. Applying dot scale. Sorry, applying. takes a transform. Okay, so CGA transform scale X one, Y minus one. Okay, take this off. Um, Hmm. Well, that's not doing what I hoped it would do. Let's try the other one. Rotation angle. And I'll take this one off. Oh, CG float. Oh my goodness. That's going to be a radiance, probably. Rotation value you provide. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Come on, folks. Um. Well, okay, so 30 degrees. Let's go for 90, because I can remember that. Um, zero to two pi, so zero to pi, so pi over two. I don't know where I get pi these days. Pi. We'll go for a 90 degree transform. Well, this is not doing what I would thought it would do. Mm, okay, set the origin before rotating. Oh, I think that was about this. Um, okay. Why does the transform not do what I want? Man, I thought I thought scale effect y minus one is really the same as multiplying by that. I don't know if you say affine or affine or how what transform. Like rotation, you have to do the sine and cosine, and translation, you just do the x and y. Um. Rotation angle pi over two. Well, let's. That sends it off. Okay. Uh, all right. Um. <clears throat> Hmm, okay, so I've got a shape like Let's see if we can do it in the shape itself Oh 
body. Oh no. Well, I guess there's an override I can do on this. Okay, this didn't amount to anything. And it body. Those don't sound like I don't have a lot of options here. Well, let me simplify what I can here. I don't need this. I don't need this starting angle. And I can just call it angle. Um, okay. All right, let's let's put one. Two. Okay. Well, I thought I'd understand this better by now. <laughs> okay, I, I mean, we got something. It seems... Let, let's... I forget what translate. Offset. Offset. Okay, um, scale effect. Okay. Okay, I mean, I'm kind of getting somewhere. We can fill it in. Um,
Well, something's off. <laughs> okay. If I get start at zero, and then they all should be angle 60. Okay. So my first one is blue. All right, let me add them one at a time. Some more steps. <laughs> okay, he seems correct. Well, that seems correct. I'm adding 60, okay. This one should be 300. Okay. And then let's offset this a little more. We'll, we'll eventually get this based on the geometry view. Geometry reader. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then why? Let's, let's go up a bit further. Whoops. That's not quite half. Yeah, it's a little, a little off. Okay. This is <laughs> okay. Well, how am I feeling about things? <laughs> okay, I'm I'm moving this back to the swift coordinates so our default arc comes up from the top and goes like that and then we're scaling it and moving it down here this i really want that to be on the on the pie itself i mean i can put a um modifier on the view but it should be able to do it in the shape so let's see if i can figure that out swift um transform shape transform custom shape That's a view, there's a path. I don't think 
This is gonna... Right, we modify the path. And they do everything down there. Let's go back to shape. Right, all the standard ones. Size that fits. There's the path. I could transform this. I don't know. I was hoping there was something I could override or something. It, it seems like that. I don't know. That applied transformation seemed like the right kind of thing. Transform. Can you draw only the blue shapes, copy them, and flip them vertically? Well, it, it, I suspect so, but the, um, 60 degrees isn't the only angle we might want to use for these. I mean, you could definitely do 30, right? Because if 60 works, you could cut each one in half and so on. Um, in some sense, maybe you need an even number. I mean, 60 gives 6 and 30 gives 12. Um, gosh, it just seems like apply 
should have worked. Where, oh, it was on path. Applies return to path construct by applying the transform to all points. I don't get that one. Okay, well, that does seem like it's doing something. Let's take this off. Oh, that one I want to keep is this one. Okay, I'm gonna take them all off and see if we can get somewhere. It's suspicious to me because I would think we'd be seeing them more. Okay. I mean, applying that seems like it would flip the whole thing. Oh, but rotation. Okay, let's try rotation first. Well, no, we did scale and then rotate. Well, something's going on. <laughs> okay. Um... Oh, and I gotta take this off. Oh, rotation effect versus what point, right? Okay. This one off. Well, that that sure looks like it's rotating. relative to the center, maybe? Let's take it back. That's the scale. So flipping Y should flip this triangle upside down. And it's not. Am I thinking about it backwards? Well, 
Why do I only see one thing? Where's everything else? <laughs> um, that should do nothing and look at it. <laughs> oh. oh, it's rotated. Okay, sorry. That should do nothing. Okay, that's kind of what I want. <sighs> well, we don't want to rotate this. Okay, so now maybe. We do want to rotate these. Where are you? Uh, it's somewhere. Okay, I think I think the issue is well no i don't know which piece we're drawing here scale x1 y minus one okay i'm gonna take these out This is just to shrink the whole thing so I can see something. Okay, now why is that blue piece not... Not showing up. Oh, they're overlapping. Okay. That guy seems okay. <laughs> All right, I've rotated him zero degrees. Now, if I bring in the next one, well, I don't know. To my eye, that doesn't quite look like it lines up, but maybe it's okay. And that one's so far away, we can't see it. Or else he's overlapping. Yeah, I'm going to do colors to fill green. Oh. Oh, I don't have this piece off. Oh, okay. But... Whoops. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> it's not bothering you. Well, that's that's the question. Something's I want to get this rotation effect on the, on the thing. Um, <clears throat> okay, let's try that. Okay, so if I do applying, if I transform rotation angle. Okay. Um, 60 degrees is 2 pi over 6, which is pi over 3, right? Well, that's doing something. Okay, and then this comes off. Yeah, somehow. Well, this one now, I'm rotating them all the same amount rather than by that. So let's pass in something for that. Um, and... So I say count is zero. Count is one. I'm going to take these out for a moment. Okay, and then this can be, if I have to convert it. make it CG float. Even though it's probably it. Okay. Okay. That's that's progress. <laughs> All right. So do that. That's better. Okay. So Count's probably not the right word. do we have okay well I may have messed that up right because I've got this offset let's take that out no All right, let's increase this. 
Okay. And then... Okay, well... I'm happy to have this applied up here because I don't want to, you know, these pieces should, uh, they should not worry about it. Um, now I am worried, well, maybe not yet. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, the, there's something screwy. This this rotation, though, must be around... It's got to be around the zero, zero point up in the top left corner. And then we've, we've moved it over. Well, we flipped it vertically and then moved it over. So I think that's... It's kind of okay. It, this... Probably, we, we should be able to get rid of that. This, eh, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I can put that up here. Because when we draw, we take the whole, whole screen. So let's see if we can scale well i guess after we do the whole thing we'll scale it again by half and half okay so that gets us back to something Now, if this goes away, yeah, that's, that's more, so I think um, there's a little safe area up here. So I think this is really the top left corner of our, of our thing. Okay. Yeah. So, well, I think it's, it's a moment of progress, right? We got something kaleidoscopic. <laughs> Not, not great, but okay. Um, I think I really should alternate blue and red is, is more in keeping with what a kaleidoscope does. Oops. Oops. Red. Okay. I mean, that, that does seem like it. Um, There's got to be a better way. But but the real thing is, okay, um, we, need, we need this shape, this pie piece shape. We need to take that and apply it to a photo or something like that. So I, I think we have the right piece for intersect if we can get that photo piece of the photo in a, in a shape, because I think shapes are what intersect. So, um, yeah, it's a good start. Well, it's a start. <laughs> it took longer to get here than I wanted. But yeah, let's take that break, see you in three or four minutes, and we'll come back and move on to the next stage. I guess I should at least do that. <laughs> okay. All right, welcome back. One, three, one. This is the 25th. Okay, and this is introducing, I don't even know what I called it, collide. Okay. Um, make kaleidoscope image. I, I don't think we're quite there on that. 
Okay, so, um, well, let's run it in our simulator. Alrighty, so the thing, well, one thing that's going to happen is we're going to Um, we're going to take the result of this pie shape and and cookie cutter it out of some image. Um, and then we need to be able to reverse the image. So I don't know how that part's going to go. I'm also not totally thrilled with this uh, zero, one, two, three, four stuff. I, I mean, it's... The pie is something. Maybe... All right, let's see what intersect looks like. <laughs> okay, um, intersection, that's on a path. Can we intersect shapes? Oh, we can. Good. Okay. Now, can we get... Um... Well, an image is a shape. I don't know if I can... All right, let's... Let's... I don't know if I care about this. The other shape, I'm going to take an image. Image. Resource. Name. I think I can just put a file in there, right? Bundles optional. Oops. Let's try logo.ping. And I don't need fill. It's this method intersection requires image conform to shape. Um, Image is not a shape. That's it. Okay. Clip shape. 
Okay. Okay, so I should see the image covered somewhere, covered up. Um, oh, that's my default pie, I guess, with no color specified. Okay, dot clip shape. clip shape and you give it a shape. Expected. What's something on that? Am I missing a... Oh. Let's take this piece of pie out. Take them all out. See if I know what I'm doing with the image. Apparently not. Well, it's not showing up there either. Okay. Uh, let's copy it. It's trying. <laughs> okay. Oh, why am I not getting this thing? What a ping. Um, yeah, pie contains two small shapes mirrored, all their shapes are just rotated copies. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that would, that would be an improvement to figure out one piece of pie and reverse it and attach it into the, into the one piece and then, and then repeat that, um, at least for these simple um triangle slash pie shaped things okay looks for image resource in the asset catalog oh image bundle oh that looks 
looks like more than what I want to do. Swift UI image bundle looks for the image resource in the catalog. Okay, so why are you not finding an image resource? Let's make it a V stack just to make sure it's nothing. Oh, offset. No. Okay, I'm not finding this in my bundle. Do I? Still not finding it. Your Xcode, select assets in the center pane, select import, navigate to your image file. Well, that kind of looks like what we have. Let me um, rename it. Hmm, it's not dot ping. Use the image to impair the name of your image as string. Maybe I should not use the full. Oh, I changed the name. There it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's start putting things back. Z stack. Image demo. Clip shape. Hmm. I don't need it here now. Um. I screwed things up. I don't know what that message is from. If I've screwed something up putting this thing in. 
Probably should have had a definite different image. Image, image, that clip shape, shape. Yeah, that's what I thought I had. Image, demo, dot clip shape, shape, and that's our piece of pie. And if I take this off, he's there. Hmm. Why is that not? Fits the view of the parrot, fills the parrot. I think I want to do this. I thought that would make it fit the whole image in this. Resizable. Yeah. Okay. Clip shape capsule. Do we have square? No. Rect. Okay. Um. Well, I forget what other paths we had. <sighs> Shape. Capsule, circle, ellipse, rectangle. Okay, that's the whole thing. Make pie. Uh -huh. I don't know what it means, but. Okay, so this is weird to me. If look, where did my pie go? there what are you doing up there oh it's the offset thing okay <laughs> I 
Okay. I don't get it at all. Oh, this is not 60. Okay, I still don't get that. 360, 300. Okay, I'm going to do scale to fill. Uh, okay. Well, they seem to be coming off the same rotation point. <laughs> I don't think path is a shape. Well, yeah, so the, the, I think we're okay on that. So, the way you make a shape is you provide the path for it. So that, that I think is okay. Um, why? Didn't we left it scaled, right? So this should be only half the width of the screen or of its, I mean, this got padding, so there's a little bit of play here, but um, it's from top left of image. Yeah, I, I, I think I've chosen a pretty poor image. Um, let's see, what can we, let me, let me just hide this for a second. Okay, um, I've got a different picture to try, and because it's not so symmetrical, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that will be okay. Let's delete this. Okay. Okay, so I don't know. We were. I think we were at a farmer's market and just took a picture of some interesting vegetables. Okay, so back here. Okay, yeah, so that does seem to be. Starting it. Why are you so? Maybe it's this fill fit thing. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's appears to me to be the top left corner of my photo. Clip shaped three hundred. I don't know, this is going to not work again. 60 to 40. Three sixty. Why that gets 90 degrees at the top left corner of my... <laughs> okay. Um, so the pie shape... I mean, 360 says take the whole piece of pie, right? So, I don't know. Yeah, okay, I don't think that matters. <sighs> okay, so why are these...
I mean, really, I kind of want to take it from the center of the image. Maybe this is not the right way to go about this. Well, let's just see if image has some other stuff that we can manipulate it with. Not really. Okay, well, it's I don't get how it can only take 90 degrees. Now this, this, I don't know, maybe just how they place the image. If I fill in the rest, I can put the pie, more pieces of pie back. I mean, I think they should look all right. Yeah, so I think that's coming in sweeping around. Why 360 gets us a 90 degree angle on it? Oh, oh, maybe it's maybe it's there, but it's um it's not taking from where I want it to. To offset. Okay, something like that's going on. Um, we're we're getting the whole three sixty. Um. So we're getting the whole circle. Now why it's below, I don't know, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> now that's the far uh, right side of the picture. Yeah, that's more the whole picture. And then let's do a Y. Okay, yeah, I've almost got the whole picture there. Okay, that's kind of better. So I took it scaled it shaped it into a circle and now I'm picking out pieces See if I can get the right piece now. Yeah, that's more like it. it. It looks a little asymmetric, doesn't it? I don't know if this is helping anymore. Yes, it is. Okay, and I don't know what the size of that picture is. Thousand twenty four by seven sixty eight. I wouldn't think those offsets would do it. Maybe it's a screen thing. Um,
Hmm, did that matter? Okay. Something is screwy. Um, I somehow want to get this thing centered. You know, to Yeah, I'm not, I'm not. Okay. It's a function of this. Sorry. Lost my change anchor point. I just said anchor point. I think it should center. Circle is not centered. Yeah. Okay, so I've kind of got it more or less centered. It looks a little off. Um, all right, now let's turn this back. I don't know if that did anything or not. Did. Okay. So, oh, <laughs> um, does it matter where the shape gets the image? Well, it, it matters. I think what it matters, it, it's like at some point I had my, I think my image, maybe because it's only a 1x image, I don't know, 1024 by 768 isn't so tiny, but I think it, um, it maybe was so small relative to the circle it was getting chopped off before. It, it may have been an offset thing, but, um, but I think, I think this is more like it. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a little asymmetrical still, but but okay. But I think what that does now, I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Demo angle count is one. Okay, yeah, this is kind of getting there. All right, now. Um, X, put another scale effect in, X minus one, Y minus one. Okay, and not quite what I wanted. I mean, it's getting a different piece of the image, but I really want it to get the same piece. And then... Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'd like to do. So I was hoping the scale minus one would would flip the image, but that's not quite something happened, 
yeah, because the tomato is on the top left. Um, okay, let's... okay, so so corn. I was hoping it would flip the image, but maybe. Yeah, I'm doing this in the wrong place. Also, this pie angle thing is a little screwy. Okay, so this is position one. It is flipping. Okay, because this, I don't know what those are. Are they limes or not? But that's the end of the corn. So I think that that piece does attach over here. Um, assets, well, I don't know where he's going to show that. Okay. Um, but at any rate, the the limes that's down here I, I don't know yeah i need to rotate the image oh okay i get too distracted all right so i think what i want to do is this needs to come here Let's take this one out for a moment. Okay. Now I have this up here. After scale to fit. Well, I mean, it's chopping up the image and doing something. That's that's something. <laughs> um, yeah, how do I get this piece? Maybe I got to put the rotation back on here. Um. I mean, that's getting a different piece. So I want the same piece, but then I want this to rotation effect 60. Minus 60, okay. Now I don't know where it's, uh, it's still not what I want. Okay. Let's take this one out. All right, what's different? Resizable scale to fit, scale effect. I've got this in there. All right. Can I make an image from the clip shape? Well, I think I can make a, um, actually it, I don't know what it is. Um, I think it's just a view. Maybe it's, maybe it's a shape. Clip shape returns a view. So, oh, where S is shape. Okay, so give me a shape. I'll return you a view. Um, okay, so my two pieces of corn pie are basically the same. All right, so what I'd like to do, if I, 
I want to basically reverse it, flip it in place, right? That's not it. I mean, do I... <sighs> What would, how would I mirror that? I mean, it's not a rotation, right? It's, it's, um, right? Because it doesn't matter. I mean, even if I could rotate it around arbitrary points here, spinning it around isn't going to do anything. I have to actually flip the image so that this light bit shows up in this corner. Okay, so we're not even, we're not even in the game yet. Um... Okay, and there may not be anything in the um, out of the box for it. I don't know how to flip an image horizontally. Mirror? No, that's something else. Oh no, that's not it either. Okay, this is kind of it. Yeah, that's not really. Orientation. I don't even want to flip it left and right. Does that, if I flip them both? Okay, I should be able to Okay, this pie is a distraction Okay, if I do scale effect of the end result I guess I'm flipping the whole thing back. <sighs> well, no, I thought that should flip the X and Y axes. Maybe X is not the best one. An image using an image renderer. Um, all right, let's look at image renderer. Creates images from views.
Okay, if I flipped X and Y, I'm going to try and make it offset X 300, Y 300. I think I flipped it way over to the top left outside my screen because it wasn't the, you know, down in the bottom right corner. I think I flipped it all the way as if the phone had been flipped over top of itself. Um, see if any of these get it back. I mean, one, one thing is like when you rotate, if you will, if you've got an image sitting out here in the middle and you want to rotate it, you have to translate it back to zero, zero, rotate it there and then, and then translate it again. Um, and I'm, No. Well, one one should be a identity, okay. <clears throat> UI graphics image. <laughs> um, okay. Right, so I don't know where to. I'm so lost in these offsets. If I take this out, it fails. Right, okay. So if I had to offset it negative X and negative Y, then that means it was sitting out here somewhere. Now, can I go further? Shape flip as an image field. Rotate the image, but but um yes, I agree. But rotate is not going to do it. Well, but is it scale going to do it? Okay, I know. Let's try this. Um, let's take this stuff off. Okay, put this back. Okay, now if I do X minus one, okay, I am getting a, 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 a scaling effect of something. This was minus 180. I'll take it out. Okay. Um, well, 
I think it's progress. <laughs> um, right? Because uh, we can't we can't quite see enough to tell. Am I scaled? Well, let's take this scaling down. That's the offset. Zero. Okay, getting there. All right. I don't know, we can't read the letters, but that image looks reversed to me. It had corn on the left, and now it's on the right, and had tomatoes. And whatever that blue thing is. Um, versus that. Okay, so I can... I can use this minus one stuff to scale it. <laughs> yeah, so, but I gotta, I want to scale the, the view, right? Now, if I put the pie shape back in, what do we get? Nothing. Okay. Um... Okay, so what I think we want is we want we want our pie shaped thing. Let's put it back. This which is being hidden now. Okay. I mean, this is the thing we want to reverse. Oh, is it just rotated? Uh, I think you're right. Okay, well, this will be a place to stop. We're, we're going to have to find something that can, can actually mirror something. And... Um, I think, again, I'm being held up by, I mean, I think it's just so hard for me to think in terms of zero, zero being up here instead of down here. And, but something has to be able to mirror this. And it may be like we have to do a little function, but I, I swear I've seen something like that. Um... But, okay, we'll pick up there tomorrow anyway. Um, easy, we grab a 30 different vertical and then flip it horizontally. Yeah, we could probably, we could probably do something like that. But, but flip horizontally, right? Do we have flip horizontally? Um, 
somewhere did, right? It was an NS thing, so it's an old thing, but there's probably a new analog. Um, yeah, so if you chose it judiciously, you could you could flip horizontally and I think that would be okay. You could still move the picture underneath and get different sections, but all right. Well, that gives us a starting point tomorrow. All right. Well, we made us, we made a start. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we've got to, we've got to start on this thing. And, um, uh, it's, it's a little bit heavy on the graphic side and not much way to test that. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not quite sure where we're, we're not just playing around at this point, but I mean, there's something right about this. We're getting a piece of pie. Basically this ad arc thing is the heart of that. And, um, we know this has to modify based on the angle. Um, but I think, I, I, I mean, I think we're, we're closing in on something. So let's pick up there tomorrow and uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I didn't think it was a one day project. All right, take care, bye-bye.